Bye bye Hawaii! We're about to get on a big airplane! Yay! We had such a good trip and now it is almost all done. This doesn't even look real behind us. Looks just so incredibly beautiful. Yes! Yes it is! Well, we're gonna get on a big airplane. Yes we are! We are gonna get on a really big airplane! We're gonna fly all the way back to the East Coast. Woo! Here we go. Just this little guy and me. So for this trip, we are flying from Honolulu to Denver and then from Denver to Pittsburgh. All in all, it's about 11 hours of flying plus a layover. And I've got a backpack and a large bag and a stroller and a car seat and a base. Here we go, we're gonna board our flight. Got all this stuff. Okay, so I just checked my big bag and I was gonna check the car seat too, but they said that it had to be gate checked here, which is fine, it's just more to carry. Mostly because the base is with us. And I have this bag and I have my backpack. So it's just a few more things. But that's okay because August is sleeping. So it's all for the best that he gets to keep sleeping. It's really not ideal that I have to bring the car seat all the way to the gate with the base, but it's fine. <laughs> All right, I will have to take him out for security though. Made it through security, yay! I did have to take him out and I put him back in. He woke up and cried just for a second and then I gave him his pacifier and he immediately went back to sleep. He's definitely really tired, so hopefully he'll sleep the whole flight. This flight is a night flight. Our actual takeoff time isn't until 9.50 p.m. And then we literally fly all night and we lose six hours going home. I usually arrive about two hours early and so I had some extra time after going through security and I grabbed some food before getting on my long flight. Now it's time to board and since I have a baby we do get priority boarding. We get to board before most of the other people since we take extra time and of course we will take extra time because I need to put my car seat and the base into a bag as well as the stroller into a bag. So I have two gate check bags and I held my little guy in the baby carrier while I put the stroller and the car seat into the bags. Since this first flight is about eight hours, I made sure to request the bassinet seat. Although lately, United seems to be having issues with their seating arrangements, so I was really lucky that they were able to give me a bassinet seat. Even though I was supposed to have one, I didn't have it. I was very thankful that they were able to move me to the right seat. Although to start out this flight, he is so asleep, I might just hold him for a while. I also made sure to bundle him up in warm clothes because it can get really cold on these night flights, especially overseas. After a little while, he wanted to move around and get out of the carrier, so I'm just holding him, but I will always enjoy these baby snuggles. I also breastfed him during takeoff to help him pop his ears. A pacifier would also help. Now they have just set up the bassinet and I have transitioned him into the bassinet. Once the seatbelt sign was off, he was able to sleep in there and he looks so cozy. And of course I made sure to give him lots of cozy blankets to keep him warm. And of course I'll be right here to keep an eye on him. This is one of the baby changing tables in the bathroom on the airplane. Then we went back to our seat and he slept for quite a while in the baby bassinet. I took some videos but it's pretty dark so it's hard to see. After that it was time to take him out and of course I fed him periodically throughout the flight but he actually slept quite a bit on the flight and really basically was only awake when he needed to eat and it makes sense because it was a nighttime flight. 
And then of course, as we got closer to landing, they uninstalled the bassinet and I just held him. He slept in my arms during the entire landing process. And then I laid him on the seat. I can't believe he even fits there. It's so cute. Just so that I could put on my baby carrier. And of course I needed both hands for that. So that's why I had him in the seat. Now he's in the baby carrier and I can carry him off the plane and I can use both of my hands to set up the stroller while still holding him. That's definitely the best way to do it, especially if you're flying solo with a baby. Upon getting off the flight, I retrieved my gate checked items, which were my stroller and my car seat. So glad to see that they both arrived in one piece and were here at the gate. I set them both up with August still in the baby carrier attached to me so that I could have both hands to get everything all together. Got everything assembled. Yay! Definitely a little harder with having the car seat and everything all here, but I did it. Yay! I just wore him in the carrier while I was setting everything up. And he stayed asleep the whole time. It's amazing. It's still basically the middle of the night for us, so it's understandable that he's really tired. All right, taking the elevator down. Gonna catch the train and get some breakfast. Even though it's an extra thing to have to assemble and bring with you, it's really nice to have the stroller through the airport just because you don't have to have so much that you're carrying. It was literally a weight lifted off of my shoulders to help me hold my backpack and also, of course, to carry my baby. I mean, I can't blame him for being sound asleep. It is literally like 3 in the morning where we just came from, even though it's like 9 a.m. in Denver. Do I look just a tad tired? Okay, well that was like the longest line ever, but I love Einstein, so it's worth it. Little guy is still asleep. Yay! Now back on the train so we can go to the different terminal. Now we're boarding our next flight and I did the exact same drill with the gate checked items and wearing him in the carrier. Then I breastfed him during takeoff to help him pop his ears. And then he had a blowout and needed to have an entirely new change of clothes. Here you go. Now you got a new outfit. Yay. Yeah. Okay, After I got him changed, he just slept in my arms for most of the flight. It was so sweet, and I will never turn down an opportunity to snuggle with him. Super traveler! Yay. Can I say hi? Hi! Bless you! Bless you! Again, I put him on the seat just for a second so that I could put on the baby carrier and carry him so that I would have both hands so I could set up the stroller once we get off the airplane. you sleep little guy we made it all the way home thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful if you were looking for tips on how to travel or fly with a baby and if you're looking for more tips on how to travel with a baby or toddlers i have plenty more content because i travel with my twins quite a bit as well thanks for checking this out and i hope you subscribe